right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're gonna be re- we, we, we interviewing King Dada once again, cause we did already. And full transparency, the footage got corrupted. I don't know what happened. Maybe the interview was too hot. You know what I'm saying? And that John <laughs> just got corrupted. <laughs> what what right. But listen, man, we'll be All back. Right. We're gonna talk about it. Look, man, if you like the content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, go subscribe to our reaction channel. Got a bunch of stuff over there now. We growing. Also, too, if you want to donate, Sketchpad Podcast right on the screen. You know what I'm saying? And if you want us to react to your stuff, cue card is on the screen as well. Look, man. So we back at it. Whipping the Craftmatic. King Dada back in the building. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's, What's up? up What's up? What's going on with you? Hey man, I, I hey I appreciate y'all letting me on y'all platform, man. I really appreciate it, man. Real shit. Hey man, hey, listen, no doubt, man. Celebrity, man. You're a superstar, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey man, I, yeah. I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you got so, a lot going on. So we gonna talk about uh, it. Now. Yeah, we definitely are. <laughs> We definitely are. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I already, already have implanted what I want to ask Dada. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you if you want to go first. No, you go ahead. You know first. what I'm saying? You go ahead first. All right, yo. All right, yeah, man. We we gonna get into it. So, all right, for uh, full transparency, uh, as y'all know, as a uh, funeral man already stated, you know, we had an interview last time. The uh, footage got corrupted. You know, YouTube be bugging. We don't know what happened. So, anywho, you know, the last time we asked, you know, we talked to Dada, we asked him about battle rap and all this type of stuff, and we found out that he battled Ren. But this battle stuff goes a lot deeper than what we discussed the last time, and it's kind of a blessing in disguise because now we have a... a, a better content to really, you know what I'm saying? A better, we're going to have a better discussion because now we got a just of what has been going on in the rapper reactor world. You know what I'm saying? So make a long story short, we going, I'm going to ask you, you know, this first question, what is the issue with you and Tom McDonald? What's going on with them? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, man. Honestly, man. I personally don't have. I, well, I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. When I mm-hmm. first like got introduced to Tom McDonald's music, mm-hmm. I was not a fan of it at all. But I'm not a hater, so I just never spoke on it. I didn't ever like talk about it. Yada yada. And then mm-hmm. there's this one reaction channel. She um. She had reacted to a couple of my songs and shit, like show love to my shit, said I was dope, all of that. And then she found somewhere, I guess, where she discovered that I'm not a Tom McDonald fan. And she's like a fanatic. So she went from, oh, I'm dope to my, what she say? Uh, uh, my shit sucks donkey dick, is what she said. As soon as she found out I wasn't a Tom McDonald fan. So it was more or less like, oh, okay, I'm going to just use this energy that I'm getting from these fans that's overdoing it and you know what I'm saying just project how I feel about it like because I don't personally have a problem with him I just think he sucks at everything he does musically you know what I'm saying I just think he's horrible and that's just you know no I mean I mean that that's 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 your opinion you're entitled to it you know what I mean um so I listened to the song uh, "Tom Fan," and you was really yeah. going in on this record. So, what what inspired that? What inspired that record, "Tom Fan"? It, 
it was it was really that that conversation I had. Like, it's, uh, actually, and some of the lines that I even said in it was from the conversation that I had with her. Like about the uh, time he's better than ninety nine percent of rappers that's out now, and you know what I'm saying. Like that that was actually shit she was telling me. Like she was telling me Tom McDonald was better than ninety nine percent of the rappers that's out and active right now. And I was like, that's 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 a crazy statistic, but you know whatever. And it was just that conversation. Like I felt like it would have been more interesting for me to poke fun at his fan base than to diss him, because everybody talk about how he says he ain't gonna respond to disses and yada yada. I mean, so I felt like it wouldn't be very creative for me to talk about him like everybody else does. So I just took it a different route. Nah, it was a very creative route. I, I have to say, and it and it and it threw me it threw me for a loop because. Um, I didn't know I didn't know whether it was a diss or a compliment. But then I I, I, I I thought about it and looked more into it and I was like, nah, he uh he's it, you 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 were dissing him, but you were dissing him in a sarcastic in a sarcastic type of fashion. And then I understood after that. I was like, Oh, okay, okay, this is what's going on. You know what I mean? So it, it was it was pretty interesting because I know uh I know from what we know, you know what I'm saying, we've reacted to a lot of Tom McDonald's music and um, we haven't heard anybody. We know in the past he has battled individuals, you know what I mean? In fact, the last guy he battled, you know what I mean, he kind of like, like their career just kind of like went into the toilet, you know what I'm saying? Mac so I, I, was it Mac Lethal? Yeah, it was, I, think, I believe it was Mac Lethal. Yeah, he kind of, yeah, he... <laughs> Yeah, he 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 put a mud hole, he stopped the mud hole, and it was it was it was, it was bad. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm gonna tell yeah, you this. See, gonna, and, 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 uh, I, 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 oh no, my bad, bad. I was I was just gonna say, and see, and that's why I feel like time hasn't actually been tested because I I listen to him, I listen to Mac Lethal shit, and I'm like it, it, his distance again. I'm like, yeah, no. Why would you think that this would be it? Like, no disrespect to him or no shit like that, but these rap niggas on YouTube and shit, they haven't been actually tested. Like, they get they get uh, pacification from their fans telling them that they dope as hell, so then they just stay at this level with no growth, and I feel like they haven't, you know, he hasn't been actually challenged by somebody with a pen. You feel me? Yeah, and, and, and you've been definitely jumping in your bag with that because... You also went at probably, I would say, one of and and, and I'm not and, and I'm saying this and I'm saying this because this 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 was like literally our first time hearing of this guy. I mean, I've seen his reactions, but I didn't even know he could rap. And I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about uh, Knox Hill. You know what I'm saying? You went at Knox Hill. Knox Hill. I I'm not even gonna hold you. Knox Hill has a dangerous pen. I've I've listened to him and I've studied him and I'm like, yo, this guy can write. And you went at Knox Hill not once, I believe it was twice, right? It was yeah. twice or was it three yeah. times? You went at Knox yeah, Hill yeah. and I was like, yeah, he he don't. I was like, yo, Dada don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, Dada, hey, no, no fucks <laughs> given. Dada don't give a fuck. I look at it like. I look at it like. Uh, my bad, bro. My bad. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say because I look at it like you know what I'm saying like these is all like especially with a Knox. When Knox gets on the record, you hear him talk about oh how how dope his lines are. He's just this much levels above other rappers and all of this, and he's super hip hop that. And I'm like, okay, well then I want to test that. I feel like if you are an artist or an MC and you put that type of energy into your lyrics that can't nobody fuck with you, then you should expect somebody to try to come fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? It's no oh, different yeah. than uh, it's no different than somebody acting like they the hardest nigga in the street. Somebody gonna test them. You know what I'm saying? So no, look, and that's one of the things that I respect you because you are very competitive, and in in this in this realm of rapping. It's always been competitive. I don't care what nobody say. Since the beginning 
of rap, rap's always been a competitive sport. If it, it when it it was competitive when it came to b boy, it became competitive when it came to b boxing. It became competitive when it came to battle rap. It's been all around competitive. So no one should really get offended if somebody's coming at your neck. You should actually take it as a compliment because there's actually people out there that are listening. And they want to test you because not only are they testing you, they tested themselves too. Because at the end of the day, they want to go against the best. You know what I'm saying? And that's and and that's kind of how that's how I feel too. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I salute you for that. You know, and like I I'm not going to front. Them joints was them joints was tight. Them joints was tight. I listened to I listened to all of them and I was paying attention and um I made sure my partner. Had, had 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 got his listens in on them joints too because like we was watching man we was watching we was like wow this is this is some this is some good stuff you know so I was like yeah I definitely had to holler at you about them joints I appreciate you know it man yeah yeah uh, I appreciate it man it was it was it was kind of a long time like the the first time when I first when me and Knox first battled what happened was. Knox had threw some subliminals. I remember I had called him out. I didn't even say nothing on the track. I think I had tagged him on YouTube, or not YouTube, on Twitter. And I said, yo, what's up? Uh, you talking about this rap shit? Let's battle, yada, yada. And then his fans, it was like a couple of his fans started arguing with me, like, oh, no, Knox wouldn't rap against you. You're not worth it, yada, 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 yada. So I'm sitting here going having back and forth with his fanatics, and then all of a sudden I see that Knox had me blocked. He blocked me. So I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, about a month or two later, he dropped um, his kill shot freestyle. And he, he he said a lot of things in there that was a little bit too coincidental for him to not be talking about me. Like, he said something about, uh, like, a lot of Donald, you talk a lot of something. And then he used some boogeyman bars. And, like, people who was familiar with me from, like, Michelle show and shit, they know that that's what they called me. It was, like, the boogeyman of YouTube because I had all these other rap niggas afraid to battle. So he just threw, it was too many things that was like way too coincidental. So I was like, okay. So I threw it, so I dropped the disc. That was more like a warning. And what happened was, uh, it was popping. People was fucking with it. I was getting reactions. And then, uh, I guess Knox's fan base picked it up and they started, you know, flooding my shit with like negative shit. But then at the same time, after, uh, uh I had, to me and Ren, it was around the time me and Ren's battle happened. And uh, Ren accepted the battle with me. We was like, all right, cool. I'm going to drop this track on this day. You're going to drop yours, yada, yada. Me and Ren was cool. So the day I dropped my diss track which on uh, Ren, which was three weeks after I had sent my shots at Knox. Knox ignored me, had nothing to say, yada, yada, cool. I dropped my diss track on Ren, and then the very same day, Knox dropped the diss track on me. So I was like, okay, so you gonna wait three weeks and somebody else to diss me? You gonna wait till I'm in a battle with somebody else before you got something else to say? And I was like, all right, then that's cool. And then he played the whole little reactor game, got Stevie Knight and L Boyd and all of them to react to just his shit. Like they didn't react to none. They didn't react to none of mine. They reacted to his shit. Uh, Stevie Knight wouldn't even say my name. Knox didn't even put my name in the title. He said my name in the song and all of the other shit. But he didn't promote the battle like he was battling. So if you get on like asking YouTube and shit, like it's way more people that's gonna say Knox won. But that's only because he played a weird ass game, and it just kind of pissed me off. And it just I seen how he did screw. How he had Blindside and DK jumping in and shit. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just drop the the last project I dropped. Yeah, I um. I did see a lot of people react to your uh, to your disc records, though. Um, I think it was uh, I, if they I'm re- announcing it, I think it was, yeah, flaws. I think they, it was I flaws. Say, they re- they re- yeah, flaw. Look, what they did was they reacted to Crown, my, the, the warning shot, the first one that I sent to Knox. They reacted to that yeah. one, and then they reacted to Knox's two follow ups, and that was it. But I had three replies after Knox's two. And nobody played it. Flaw didn't play him. Uh, n- nobody did. It was like it was probably maybe like ten reactors that played the entire battle. 
maybe 10. But all the other, they didn't, after Knox and shit, and, uh, and Knox was like, well, I'm not going to rap and reply no more. Then they just stopped fucking with, they didn't even listen to my shit. Wow. Well, you know, and you know what I mean? You know, I, I could definitely say that, you know, in, in in this game, you know what I mean? If you have if you have the uh, the popularity card, you know, at times that can play into your favor. But I I do like you didn't let that phase you one bit because you kept you 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 kept it moving. You kept it moving. You kept it stepping, and you didn't let that you didn't let that phase you not one bit. Even if uh, nobody reacted to your joint, like you you kept moving, and I respected that a lot because there's a lot of artists that would just been like, you know, what I mean, all right, whatever. And they would have just, you know, they would have just gave it up and just called it quits. See, I didn't even know you had two more disses after that. I only heard the ones that you just mentioned. So I didn't even know there was other ones after that. I knew I seen I seen one joint that uh I seen the cover art for it. Um I think it was Kill Streak. It was am I am I saying yeah. that right? Kill Streak? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the first the first the first replies I did to Knox was my was Kill Streak three. It was because I do a series of disses when I battled when I battled Grizzy Hendrix. Uh, it was the first time I did a kill streak, and I did three tracks. And then the next one I battled a uh, uh, new future flash, and I did a kill streak. So then when I did when Knox was doing the shit he did, I was like, well, I guess it's the perfect time for me to do another one. So I dropped three tracks. It was three tracks on the kill streak, and the, and the, and a good reason why I, it didn't really phase me that that shit happened is because if you go and do look at the ones who did react to the whole battle, they say Knox lost. The only one saying Knox won is the ones who saw half the battle. They saw his two diss tracks to my one and said that he won. You know. So it was. It was more. It was. It wasn't like a oh I lost thing. It was a politics thing, and I understood it. Yeah, more. Well, you know, battle rap. You know, I, I I could tell you more than anybody. Like I've dealt with politics and battle rap for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I I get it. I understand totally. You know, but but yo man, like I said, man, them joints was tight. You know what I mean? And you you hearing that from me? Like I I respect it. I respect it. You know and I, you know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate it. I I appreciate the competitiveness between the artists. You know, and I was even telling I was even telling one of your peoples in the comment section, like you know, regardless of because I don't know these people personally. We don't know these people personally. We only know from the music that they put out. Regardless of what they do in their personal life, that's their business. But the music that we hearing is crazy. We fire, you know what I mean? And we being musicians ourselves, we being musicians ourselves, between all the artists that we have heard, you especially, like we like, we like what we're hearing. So it's, you know what I mean? Right off of that, like I just, I love, I love the content, period. You know what I mean? And I'm saying that from a genuine, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, no, no malice, no hate at all. You know, and I feel like real MCs, real MCs recognize real regardless. If you don't like the person or not, you respect the craft. You know, so I feel like I feel like once a lot of these, once a lot of these jokers get out of their feelings and you know what I mean, just focus on the content. You know, we can have more competitive. You know what I mean? Uh, battles like that, like the ones that you've been involved in, but it's respected, man. Like for real. I, I know fewer men got a lot to say, man. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just step um, back real quick. You know what I mean? Um, it's a couple of diff- couple of different things. Uh, first, I would say that I think that you making your mark and putting you in basically showing that it's about rapping. That's a that's an excellent thing because people get in their feelings and they, they really don't want to battle and they don't want to do shit. So I think you making a series called you know the kill streak and you going at people that just shows to me that you have the courage to go against anybody you know it doesn't matter who you are like you're like let's just be clear here like tom mcdonald's a really big artist and mm-hmm. you going at him um is it is, i ain't gonna say it's a big deal but i will say that you going at tom mcdonald is something that you know can can basically elevate you. You know what I'm saying? Because now people looking at you, even if let's say, even if even if Tom McDonald doesn't say anything, 
people are still going to latch on to you because they're going to say, well, why is he coming at Tom? What did Tom do? And you ain't coming at Tom because you don't know him or you you coming at him because you think he's just not a great MC. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I think that that's the best way to battle somebody. Like, bro, you ain't you ain't as good as you think you are. Like, I'm better than you, and I'll prove it. And then some rappers, they they got to this point in their career that they so big that they don't even they don't even look down. That's why I respect Ren so much because he he didn't play Thanks. that role. He didn't play that. Oh, um, I, I'm, I, I, no, I'm going to battle you. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and don't get me wrong. I like Tom McDonald a lot. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I'm not making excuses for him. I'm just saying like sometimes some artists just don't, they just don't have time. You know what I'm saying? But in this blood sport, you know, sometimes it has to be that way. Now, I think this is what I think is, is going to happen because because you you are how would i say this you're uh you're persistent so when you're persistent in your craft you're gonna get big this is gonna happen so you keep doing it in the next three four five years everybody's gonna know who you are because you're gonna keep doing it and not just off of this it's just off of being consistent and doing music you, you, you're gonna have a fan base and i think that that be the time to strike. You know what I'm saying? Because now yeah. you're throwing shots yeah. in the air and you're throwing shots in the air, but it really ain't doing nothing because he's he's so far up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. think that when you establish yourself more to the point where you're undeniable or people have to reply. You know what I'm saying? And right. I think that you can kick shots going up. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times you 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 how to say this you kind of like when people take shots going up. It really depends on your the audience that's behind you because a lot of times, a lot of artists who do that, they end up shooting themselves in the foot because you get to a certain level, people look at you and they say, well, "Why are you doing this? Who are you? What are you doing?" You know what I'm saying? I think that yeah, yeah. you have a series, you have a craft. You do what you do. I think that your your fan base and whoever is behind you is gonna push you up, and you're gonna be big because you're you're look. I'm sure you did other interviews. You interviewing we interviewing you. We heard heard of you out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We interviewing you. You got what twelve thousand subscribers now. All the subscribers over here are gonna hear you. Then you gonna go somewhere else. You got already friend people already know you. He has 1.8 million subscribers on YouTube. So you're going to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So that's why I said I respect you doing what you do because you making music and you battling niggas. Most people don't do that. They do one or the other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I got to respect it, man. You're doing a good job, bro. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and the f- I appreciate it, man. And the fact that you and the fact that you're able to delegate the time to do that is is impressive too. You know what I'm saying? Because like he said, like you're either doing one or the other. It's very hard to do both. And to be consistently good at both is very hard. Cause battle rappers, like there's all right, don't get me wrong, there's battle rappers that make great music, you know what I'm saying? But there's more that don't that don't make really good music than there is that ones that make great music. Like the ones that make great music, I could probably name them on my hands and some on my feet and that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, from yeah, Sue yeah. Surf, Sue Surf is really great at making music. There's a yeah. few of us. Surf you know what I'm done. saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah. you know, to, to, and to I, be and, consistent and to be honest, I was afraid of that. I, I, was, I was really afraid of that stigma. Like, I knew that, you know, a lot of people look at battle rappers, oh, like, they can battle rap, but them niggas can't make music. Like, I was aware, and, and I was always afraid of that damn stigma. Like, but, I mean, fuck it. <laughs> I, 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 really, I really got into the battle shit like that on the YouTube shit just because I wasn't impressed with the shit I seen everybody championing. It wasn't like... It, it, like a, a lot of people, like some people might be like, "Oh, you hating or whatever." It's like, no, like I listen to him. I'm like, 
because I, I when I first started on the YouTube shit, I did a song called How to Rob YouTube. I had no idea about the hierarchy on YouTube. I didn't know who was like the hottest rapper. I didn't know like none of that shit. So I did research on it. And I'm like, this? Like this is it? So then I was like, okay, well then let me let me let me let me kind of shake shit up out here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, it's it's the competitive shit I feel like is what keeps people interested in it. Like we went from last year when we went from what like six months without a number one hip hop song to this year where Kendrick go number one in three days type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. It's it's real important to the culture. Right. Yeah, that's and, a, and, that's and not for a, nothing. A great segue into what I wanted to talk to you about. See, last time we talked, you you kinda like you kinda like sided with Drake a little bit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey, I'm a, hey, look. All right. <laughs> and I think I told you Kendrick is going to kill his boy. <laughs> like, hey, but look, look here. I, hey, look, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I still think Drake won, bro. Oh, I'm going to keep it a I'm going to keep it a oh. hundred. Oh. Uh, no, listen, 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 pie, listen man. man. Oh, hey, no, bro, listen, no, listen, man, listen, man, man listen, man. Off right now, man. <laughs> man, listen, and look, and look, and I'm, I, I got to prep. In a few seconds. Go ahead, I'm gonna let you go. go hey, look, I got, look, I got, I got, I got, I got to preface it by saying this though, off top. I'm a far bigger fan of Kendrick than Drake. Like I know Kendrick albums by heart. I, I might know eighty percent of one Drake album by heart. Like I'm not a huge Drake fan. Like if I, if I would have been rooting for anybody, it would have been Kendrick. But when I heard Meet the Grams, I was I was angered, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't. I didn't hear it with the same ears everybody else who heard it and praised it. I was hearing it like he didn't even. There was zero punches. There was zero flip. There was nothing that showcases his lyricism or his skill set on this track. So and I so I I literally mentally disqualified that song from the battle, man. And I think Family Matters is the song that took it out of over all of them. You think I just I, I, I think Euphoria? I, family Family Matters. Uh, you know what? Family Matters and Euphoria are not both like, not like us. Neck and neck for me. You think it's better than Not Like Us? Family oh yeah, 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 yeah. You think yeah, 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 yeah. Is Definitely than Not Like Us. That's bold, that's, bro. That's bold that's statement. A bold that's a bold statement. statement. No, listen. It is. Look, look, look. If you <laughs> Kendrick had what two, three strong punches on that, the rest of it was riding the vibe, and that's cool. But when you listen to Family Matters and you have the whole first verse, shots at Kendrick. You had the whole second verse. He's shooting at anybody who has some shit to say. And then when he had came to that third part, bro, it was so many bars in just the third part of Family Matters that was better than anything I heard on uh, Meet the Rams. Anything. Like, bar-wise, punch-wise, flip-wise, rebuttal-wise, Drake won that shit on Family Matters. Okay, so... Uh, if, they, if they did the same shit on stage, if they did the same shit on stage, face-to-face, -face, uh, Kendrick did Meet the Rams, and Drake did Family Matters, bar-for-bar... Drake would wash it. It would have been a wash. See, okay. I think it was the politics. I think it was the politics, man. Okay, look. So look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna break down why he lost that battle <laughs> clearly and badly. All right. Number one, I just came right, back, I, mean, I just came back from Colombia. They're playing all the Kendrick music in the club. They played push ups. They didn't play Family Matters. They played Euphoria. They play family tie in Colombia, in Colombia. I just came back yesterday. They was playing it in the club. That's not the reason why he won, though. The reason why I think Drake lost that battle is because Kendrick Lamar used what they call the art of war and the art of silence to be right. Would we say Drake had was rapping more? Yes, but in a battle rap. You don't always have to be loaded Lux to win a round. You don't always have to be daylight to win. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I battled mm -hmm. rap for years. And the best 
battlers are the most memorable ones. The ones that hit you with something that you will mm -hmm. always remember. So even if you say mm -hmm. he didn't have no punches in uh in Family Ma and um Meet the Grams, the whole song was a punch. It wasn't about it's about mm -hmm. this is it. It's about I really don't like you and I'm going to point out your flaws. I don't care about the rapping part because we all know I can rap better than you, but I'm going to show everybody that you are insecure bitch ass nigga and you have another child and you, you, you disrespect your mother, all this, your son, you don't take care of your son properly. And, and that could be all opinionated. This call could be opinionated from a kindred, but it's the art of perception is what you putting out. And Drake already has stains on his name. So the stain on his name would be he already hit a kid. So even if the little girl was a lie, even if it was out a lie, who cares? If it was a lie, all battle rappers lie. We lie all the time. I'm going to shoot you. Fuck your mother. Everybody says this. Even if it was a lie, it's about the perception of it. And then on top of that, you do have allegations against you of you messing with girls underage. Now, you might not have had sex with them, but you are on record. And there are people on record saying that you were contacting their kids. That's on record. So when Kendrick, the strategic move that Kendrick did on him was from euphoria, from, from, uh, uh, what's that? Like that from like that basic set is up. Euphoria comes when euphoria came, he said to Drake, let's just, let's just keep it competitive. Let's keep it friendly. Don't bring my family into it because if you bring my family into it, then I'm going to bleed you. What happened? Drake drops, uh, drops, uh, family matters and Kendrick. Now, now this is, this is, uh, what they call, uh, they said that this wasn't true, but I did a lot of research and they said that, uh, Drake gave him some information about himself. Now I had to question that because I said to myself, why would you, give false information to your enemy about yourself. That makes no sense at all. That's one. Two, you say in the song, in, in um, the heart part six, you said we fed you the information and the dudes that gave it to you were a bunch of clowns. So you're saying that you're a clown because you said that you gave him the information. So if you gave him the information, but the niggas that fed it to you were a bunch of clowns. <coughs> how that make sense? Excuse me. That's that, that, then when you get to not like us, that whole song is a hit and it's memorable. That song is way better than any other song that these guys did. Not just the, not for the fact of it's lyrically better. It's a, it's a, it's a song that everybody could like. If you're a super rapper or if you're just a regular person, you're going to like that song because he's saying things <coughs> that are catered to Drake completely. I don't think that Drake now, and this is the weird part and I'm gonna let you go. This is the weird part. Drake is the hit maker and Kendrick has the bigger hits. All his songs lap Drake songs. Every one of them from uh, push ups um, push ups got lapped by euphoria. Meet the grams. Euphoria is I believe 29 million views on YouTube. Meet the Grams, um, 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 uh, um, uh, push ups is only, I believe, uh, 20, and then you got, uh, oh, 18, and then you got, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the uh, other one, uh, uh, Family Matters, that's like 28. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one, uh, uh, um, Not Like Us, that's like 60 million views. So he's la like, if Drake's the bigger artist and he has the better songs then why isn't it that everybody is playing his music more? That doesn't make sense to me. He's the Kendrick had three songs in the top, top 10. Drake had one. That's my question. So if Drake really won the battle, what did, how did he win? He went off what? Off of what element did he win? Off of just rapping? That, that was the <clears throat> element. So this is how I look at it. Yeah. This is how I look at it. I, I since I absolutely have zero idea about what either side is saying is true or not, 
I'm going to just be like, okay, I assume that everything Kendrick is saying about Drake is true, and everything that Drake is saying about Kendrick is true. That's how I'm going to just ask top look at it. Both of them niggas is spitting facts about each other. So if that's the case, what am I going to judge it off of now? All I have to judge it off of is the music. Everything outside of the music, the shit they're doing, the research that people's doing, the, the chart position, none of that means nothing to me. Off top, like I said, because Drake, I mean, Kendrick is my favorite rapper out of Drake and Kendrick. So I, it's not even about who is my favorite. It's only about who I feel like did the best in a diss situation, in a disrespectful song situation. Not Like Us is a hit. But it is not a dope diss record. It has some quotables, but it is not. It's bro. He tripped, it wasn't, bro. It's he said, not. He said, "I don't mean to cut you off." He said he rebuttaled everything Drake said in that song, right? He said, um, "Homies doubled and down, still calling us some slaves." Atlanta was the mecca. You know what I'm saying? He broke the whole thing down about how Drake. Is a culture appropriator. Like, seriously, that, that's not a punch? You don't think that's a punch? Not really, because he's a nigga. Drake's not it's a nigga. Funny, it's funny. Drake is a nigga, bro. Listen, okay, his, right. Drake is a nigga. Drake is not. You, Drake I, may we, not be we, from. We can, we can Drake is me. not a hood I, nigga. I'll explain to you how Drake's not Drake, we can, we can have look, a nigga. Drake is not a hood nigga, but Drake is a nigga. His daddy is a nigga. He is a nigga. So, okay, and so it's you say, funny, okay, the okay. like the white boy jokes and shit, like it's funny, and it's like, okay, yeah, that's this funny, that's witty. But to me, it's not like, oh, yeah, that's detrimental. It's just funny to me. Well, it, well, 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 it's well, not a detrimental it, it kinda, blow. It kind of is, is detrimental right now because he's doing really bad right now. And the song mm -hmm. came out almost a month Because of the perception. Bro, they, bro, it's, it, has, it has nothing to do with the songs, though. It's all about the politics in it. It's all about the politics in it. Like, you can look, yo. before, before this shit even started, look, yeah. before this shit even started, before this track started going back and forth, you've seen people talking about yada yada unfollow Drake, yada yada unfollow Drake, yada yada don't follow Drake no more, yada yada, like, and this was just coming out, and then all of a why sudden, then we get, why do you think that, um, is, uh, why you think that is? Because I want to, but that, but that has nothing to do with the battle, though, is what I'm, I'm saying, you, because I'm the battle wasn't that, even I'm here. You, I'm asking you that specific question. Why do you think that everybody stopped? Fucking with Drake. I'm just asking you that. Forget because that. they tired. Of, they tired. Of, they they tired of him being on top. You think the nigga has right? probably the longest. Nah, man. They, they, bro, even, bro, even nah. Listen, listen. Uh, even Joe Budden. And I'm gonna just say. And I'm just using citing Joe Budden as a point of reference because he's far more into that industry than I ever will be. Or so he knows shit that I will never know. And he said on his podcast, "It's people behind the scenes that won't Drake the fuck out of there. It's people is this Drake has done something to somebody behind the scenes and get him the fuck So me knowing and paying attention to all of that shit, I can't use that in judging this battle. I can only go off of the music. I got a question for you. That's it. That. That's literally the very singular thing I can go off of. I got a question before, for you about that. Go ahead. Before, What's that? Be I got a question for you about that. Before you ask this question, right, I'm going I'm to um, right. put some... I'm going to point something out to you, uh, Dada. Drake has been playing the politic role his whole career. You know that, right? He's been playing the politic role his whole career. Drake has used his stardom to lap a lot of these guys when it comes to his rapping. You understand what I'm saying? When he battled, when he battled uh, Meek, right? His, his this is what fire. His this is what fire. Don't get me wrong, right? But his stardom took him over the top. You get what I'm saying? He give it took him over the top, and it took him it, it, it took him to victory. He tried to take that same type of persona that he has and use it against Kendrick. You can't do that with Kendrick. You got to rap against Kendrick. You understand what I'm saying? That that whole prestige that he has amongst the people, and I'm not talking about 
amongst the hip hop heads because honestly speaking, it took him a while to even gain that type of that type of respect from the hip hop heads because the hip hop heads wasn't really playing Drake like that. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was more or less it was more or less the corporate the females and people like that, those are the people that were playing Drake music. And then it kinda and then it kinda after a while, you know what I'm saying, you started seeing the hip hop heads kinda like gondering to them slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drake has had that stardom that's always took him to the finish line. He can't use that against Kendrick because Kendrick is not only a great rapper, he's a star in his own right. So you got to rap against this guy, bro. Like, and, so, and I get so Drake you. wasn't rapping? I'm a like, like that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what I'm saying, though, bro. Like, as far I'm, as just I'm, rapping, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna Drake say this, shitted on his whole Meet the Grams round, bro. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this, um, King. King. Um, it's, it, there's, there's another reason why Drake lost, because he played the wrong game. Drake, is the, he's, the, he's known for doing hits. He's known. I think Drake thought that Kendrick was going to rap with him. You know what I'm saying? That's why Drake, most of the songs he did, he rapped. He rapped. He rap rap. You know what I'm saying? From Push Up yeah. to, to Taylor Made, to Meet the Grams, to to six, six, uh, to um, Heart Part 6. He rap rap. But Kendrick yeah, beat him at his own game because what Kendrick did was he made hits and he rapped. Now, one could say that Drake rapped more. Kendrick did nothing but rapping too, but one could say that that Drake did rap more. He had more. He had more punches. He had more of that. But in this battle, that's not what won the battle, because what wins the battle out of these two guys is who's going to have the lasting impression on everybody. That's what's going to win this battle. Drake could have easily did that if he would have played his game, but Drake didn't play his game. He tried to play Kendrick's game, and Kendrick did the opposite of what he thought he was gonna do. See, I feel like, see, I feel like that. I feel like that's I, now that you even brought that to my attention. I feel like that's even a little bit more proof that it was on some setup shit. What do you mean by that? that? It was on some trying to get it. Like they've been trying. Like another reason why I feel like it's just them trying to get Drake the fuck out of there. Because if you listen to. The months and months leading up to this, before this, the last Drake album that he dropped, yada yada, what have everybody been begging uh, Drake to do? Stop making the hits. We want you to rap. We want to hear Drake rap. That's why he did the Scary Hours thing where he was just spitting. Because that's what everybody was saying Drake was should be doing. So when it comes to a battle against a nigga that rap, what else would somebody think he would do? Yeah. Now, I, now and I, 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 that's what I'm saying to you. I think that he played chess with Kendrick and he lost. The 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 thing about Kendrick Lamar, you got people got to understand is you don't know what he's gonna do. Everybody says this. Eminem, nobody knows what Kendrick is gonna do. He's unpredictable. He could come out with something tomorrow and you won't even know what he's gonna do. When he did not like us, no one's gonna thought he was gonna rap like a West Coast nigga. Who thought? Who would thought that? Like who would have thought he would have used the old West Coast flow? Like no one would have thought that, and he yeah. knew that. See, the thing is, Kendrick could have easily came out and rapped against Drake. We all know that. We all we heard Good Kid, Mad City. We heard all the albums. Kendrick raps just as good as Drake. It's not that's not a, a question. The question was, can Kendrick make better hits than Drake? And in this case, Drake opted out of making hits, and he opted for rapping, and he got tricked into rapping. Now, is that Kendrick's see, fault? I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. I mean, I, 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 I mean, but I, still, I just feel like that's that's a, that's with the perception thing because, like I said, with a battle rap, I'm not looking for hits. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking for who makes the, the highest charting okay, song or the most yes, popular yes, song. I'm yes, listening yes. for the song that got the most ooh. Let me ask you this. The most, ooh, that right? shit was crazy. If, 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 okay, so we talking like, I understand what you're saying because I'm on the same lines as you. Like, me and you and him, we, we, we battlers. We know that. We looking for those punches. We know that. But when you, when you're judging something at a grander scale like Kendrick and Drake, how can you really judge that off of that? These dudes never competed in a battle rap before. Kendrick probably, mm -hmm. I would say Drake more than Kendrick. 
and he did. I mean, Kendrick been baiting Drake for the longest. Well, they both Kendrick been, been, been baiting. They both been, they both been going back and forth for a long time. For almost, almost but see, it's been more so. It's been more so on the rap side with Kendrick. When Drake mentioned Kendrick, it's usually in like an interview. If somebody say something, then he'll say some slick shit. But like Kendrick is the one that's rapping the shit that he's saying. Yeah, Drake. No, Kendrick, you know what I'm saying. Be, honest, be, bro, be, listen, and this is this is this is the real shit. Kendrick don't like Drake, bro. He does not like Drake at all. No See, look, 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 I'm glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that. I disagree. I 100% disagree. Because if, if you look at it in the battle, two different times, two different songs, Kendrick lets people know, I love this nigga. I'm cool with these niggas. These, like, he said it twice on two different songs. He said it on uh, the Metro Boomin shit, I believe. He and, he said, and he said it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the uh, Melly Bar, he said this, he said it twice. So I'm like, and because I've had this argument before, and I'm like, I just think that when Kendrick battles, Kendrick understands that yo, like whether we cool or not, he said it. Like y'all, my he said it on control. Y'all my niggas, but this is hip hop. You know what time it is. So Kendrick ain't no limit with Kendrick when he going this. But I don't think that means he doesn't like him. I just think he know he's like, okay, well shit, I'm battling, I'm dissing you, so I'm gonna dismantle the fuck out of you. He also said he also said on on the record king he also said that you at, you wanted me on the record and you know we got some shit we got to address. You know what I'm saying like you you already know that me and you got a problem. Why are you asking me to jump on a record with you? You know what I'm saying? He said that and he said he also said a couple of things that would elude like like I put it to you like this. From from the people I the people I talk to and the people that I from where I read, the people that's close to Kendrick, and I'm not saying I know people that's close to him, but I know people that know people that know people. Like, I know Daylight, and Daylight is close to him. I talked to Daylight a couple of times. I know him personally, actually. Um, They're saying that, no, nah, he don't like Drake. But here's the thing, and maybe you can explain this a little bit further. And and I understand what you said the first time. You did say that 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 Drake, uh, everybody hate to see Drake on top. But my question to you is, how come nobody came to his rescue? Nobody said nothing. No 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 rapper, not Lil Wayne, not uh, Nicki Minaj, not the ba- not Baby. Nobody said nothing. They just let it happen to him. Nobody came out and said, "Oh, Drake's not a pedophile." What are you talking about? I mean. Uh, uh, Maul from uh, Rory and Maul said that, but no rapper that is close to Drake, and I'll even double down on that. Nobody fucks with Drake. No rapper fucks with Drake, except for Twenty One Savage and, and Sexy Red. You don't see anybody jumping on songs with him no more. I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, clicked off. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my bad. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah, my bad. My kids unplugged the damn Wi-Fi in the house. I had to, <laughs> I had to go yell at some children. You can explain it to me because I think at this point, and I understand what you said about Joe Buttons because I agree with Joe Buttons. I do believe that the powers that be at top, they're tired of it, and they're trying to stop it. I do agree with that. But it has to be something else, too. It can't just be people don't like you. Why don't people like you? Well, I also on that level, I heard, and this is some shit that I've heard on multiple like podcasts and shit like that. They say the main thing is Drake has a problem with fucking people's girls. They said that's what that is, and they like Drake probably then probably fucked around and fucked the wrong person's chick or whatever the hell the case may be, and this is the result of that. Now everybody is saying that. And people have proof of this. Now, I don't understand. I think that's kind of weird that you would want to fuck everybody's girl. I think yeah, that is. But see, you know what? I feel like that's a nerd complex that he may have had coming up. He was the dude that couldn't get no bitches or the one who was getting his bitches took. So now that he the nigga with power, he doing it to everybody else. Like, you know, like the, like the, the nigga that got bullied that ended up being a cop. Yeah. Like, that type of shit. 
I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess, I guess I could say this. I guess that to me, that's still, this is still one of the best. I would say probably the best battle in hip hop history, if you ask me, because nice. you have two artists at the top of their game, pinnacle of their game. I believe one beat the other, but is it really going to stop either one of them? No, they're going to continue on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to slow Drake down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But he'll be back in like maybe six months from now. He'll be back doing... I mean, he just did the drop. He just dropped with Sexy Red like three days ago. You know? That's trash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's all trash. Hey, no, look. Look, I'm, I'm not, no, look, look. Look, look, look. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not going to... If it was only the part that was Drake, he slid on that motherfucker. It's everything else on the song that I don't like. It's garbage. It's, it's it's old girls and it's old girls, <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, but, like with Drake, bro. And then like I, that's what I'm saying, right? So he comes out with that. If that's the next song after, that's trash. And then you got your boy J Cole, and he drops a joint. And that joint is terrible too. That joint is trash. And I'm like, what are you niggas doing? This guy just told y'all that y'all hugging and kissing on stage. And he's taking the crown from both mm-hmm. of y'all because y'all acting like simps to each other. And he drops these crazy songs, and you two niggas drop some garbage. What are we doing here? Like, I don't understand that. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah, I, those those were some questionable releases. Like, I'm not even gonna lie on that one. I heard I couldn't believe that grippy shit when I heard it. But that's a I mean, I, my, niggas is fishing. Niggas is fishing for the song that's gonna be popping for the rest of the summer. They might as well they might as well forget that because not like us is the song of the summer. That song is gonna play for the rest I, of the summer. I, I think it's gonna be hot for the whole but I I think something else is gonna come and watch it. I think well, something else is gonna watch it. And I and I honestly there's that song and then there's uh the song what's the song? It's a uh the song with the two dudes singing. I can't remember the name of the song. It, it's like it's like some homie song. I can't remember the it's name. It's new. It's 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 kind of new. It's number it's number one. It's either not like us or it's number two. You see, if you look on the billboard, it's number two or number one. So it's one or the other. They go back and forth. Hmm. Okay, because I I, be, I actively don't listen to the radio. Yeah, he sang he sang with a high pitched voice. And I can't remember. It's it's, it's it sounds like some old stuff, but I don't know the name of it. I it played it in my head all day, and I can't remember it now. But I get what you're saying. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna who's gonna top that. But we'll see. I ain't know, man. Shit, it's. I mean, shit. Fuck around. Look, Eminem dropping this weekend. He might pop it. Yeah, he is definitely dropping. He definitely. He's dropping. So shit, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's and, and I like that the battle happens so people can have these type of conversations because no, I feel like anytime people is talking hip hop is a beautiful fucking thing. It it took Drake and Kendrick to make hip hop fire, bro. That's it. Because Facts. Drake could have Drake could have did what he could have did with J Cole did. He could have just bowed out and not said nothing, but he took it head on, and I had to respect that because Kendrick Lamar is a very hard artist to beat, man. Not to say anything, you say he won, so some people do believe he won, but he's a very hard artist to beat because he's excellent, bro. Listen to his discography. The dude is an excellent artist. And then you got somebody like Drake, who's also a great artist in his own right. He does everything that people like. This was the best battle I've ever seen. They they gave us four songs, and some would argue that was more than four. But in four days, <laughs> yeah. they did more for him yeah. in four days than most people did in 20 years. That's facts. Yeah. That week yep. was crazy. That's facts. So, hey, man. So, I don't know. Yeah. That's what we here for. I love it, man. I, I love it. You know, even though Drake won. Uh, you know, we love, we love, we love, we, we, you know, you know, still, you know, can, 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 hey, hey, any, if any time Kendrick drop, I'm gonna be the first one to try to get to that motherfucker, regardless. 
You know, just you know, you know, you know, just a little truth bomb. You know, good. I love it, man. This is great. This is great. Great. Uh, it's great for hip hop, man. It's great that these two dudes they were talking about this, bro. They're talking about this battle in other countries, bro. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. I had old people asking me about it. Talking about this joint and my, my chick from Venezuela, bro. She sent me a video asking me about the Drake and Kendrick battle, bro. Like, yo, come on. They was talking about this on a sports channel on WWF everywhere, bro. WWE, not WWF. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah. Got, so they got the, the F out. out. Yeah. Our game, man, and we get out of here. So, I yeah, guess yeah. Start asking, you know what I'm saying? Ask him. One, yeah, um, one, unless you got something else, um, um, uh, uh, I think we pretty much, I think we pretty much covered everything, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, man, uh, I respect, I respect the competitiveness that's been going on on the reactors as far as the rapping. I hope to see more of it because I enjoyed it, I enjoyed, you know, what I mean, watching. Everybody go back and forth, you know what I mean, in a, in a competitive nature. You know what I'm saying. So, I, I definitely, sure. definitely can respect it. You know, and you know what I mean. Do you you stood up? You stood up to a lot of the, uh, a lot of the Hangover Gang folks. You definitely did because they come in the flocks, and we we have a we have a strong Hangover Gang following on our channel, bro. So they definitely go. Hey, yeah. <laughs> they go talk. They, to they hate too, me, bro. <laughs> hey, you know what's the? Hey, you know what's the? Cool, hey, you know what's the cool thing about it is the people that still come on my comment section and be like, "We Tom McDonald fans," but this song is funny. I like that, and then they still hashtag Hangover Gang on my shit. Like that should be funny to me. I like them kind of comments. I be like, yeah, they ain't taking it too serious. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it, it it's compared, but 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 like I said, I, I I like the growth. I remember uh when we first got onto your music and uh and we seen your channel. See, I did. This is why I say I be paying attention. I remember seeing your channel first time I witnessed it. It was at eight oh five, eight hundred and eight hundred and eight hundred and five subscribers. You are at five thousand and five thousand and twenty five subscribers now. So what you're doing is 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 hitting for home runs. So you gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I I, I be paying attention and I gotta respect it. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I feel like I feel like artists in general and artists in general need to mimic that type of formula maybe not do the formula the same maybe just like do whatever works for them but that formula worked for you and you have 5000 5000 and some subscribers now so you know what i'm saying it's only up from here you know what i mean a lot of these big wigs going to have to respond one day so you know yeah, facts I mean? yeah facts they can't they can't they can't tuck tail forever yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's respected. It's respected, you know, like, you know what I mean? The whole, the Tom McDonald, the Knox thing is respected, you know what I mean? At least from my end, because I, I come from a battle rap type of environment, so I get it, you know what I mean? I get it. It's nothing, it's no malice intended. It's just competitive nature, you know? Like, I listen to Tom McDonald. I like his music, you know what I'm saying? But I can respect the competitive nature of the sport because that's unfortunate. <laughs> whoa. Uh, well, hey, I, I I'm gonna tell you like this before. I just you, with, before I just we, with you. Yeah, you know, but I'm gonna tell you like this before we before before we uh before we bit out. I like Tom McDonald's music because he tackles a lot of things that the the artists that I expect to tackle they don't tackle it, and they and they get mad. Because he's tackling and because he's of another uh, ethnicity and he's of another culture, you know what I'm saying? What well, the way I see it is that somebody's talking about it. If you're not talking about it, somebody's talking about it, and it doesn't matter where it's coming from, regardless if it's cap or not. It don't matter where the message is coming from. 
the if the message is pure in in in, in its in its content and is intended to help, then I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I look at it. You know what I mean? Because I don't I I don't know these people personally. You know what I'm saying? But I listen to the music. You know, so that's my whole take on it. You know, like maybe there's others that might know more than what I know, but from what I've been hearing, you know what I mean. It's it it is yeah, it's yeah. great to me, you know what I mean. So yeah 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 I feel that yeah yeah I, yeah I, yeah I, I I don't ever I ain't gonna attack nobody's <clears throat> personal preferences or no shit like that. It's just I, yeah. to me it's like talking about sports teams. You know what I'm saying? To like I got I got homies that don't like none of the teams I fuck with. So you know it is yeah. it's, it's just yeah. it's a sport, you know. Yeah. Well, um. We appreciate you for coming aboard, and you know, we finally got this one out of the way. Uh, we definitely gonna be keeping tabs and seeing what's going on in that reactor world. And uh, if y'all know, we already reacted to one of King Dada's songs. You need to go check that out. The link will be in the description. You check that out, you know what I mean? Check out his music. Go to his uh page and subscribe to his channel. You know what I mean? Dude is working hard, you know? And Thank you. Thank you. That's about that, you know? Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, all real shit. Hey man, yeah. tell everybody where they can find you, bro. So you can find me on IG, uh Twitter, YouTube, all of it is Dada is King. You know, uh, Snapchat, Dada is King. You know, all of that. TikTok, Dada is King. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fine, tap in with me. You know what I'm saying? I actually I actually be talking back to people. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, man. Let's get this. Let's, get, let's keep hip-hop alive, man. It's been 50 years. Let's do 50 more, man. That's right, man. Yeah, yeah, for man, sure. Sketchpad, you know what it is, man. King Dada, Sketchpad, S, Funeral Man. See y'all, man. Peace, bye. We're out of here.